In a high-tech research institute, Dr. Elizabeth Parker and her team use quantum technology to explore the possibility of creating microscopic wormholes to parallel universes. During an experiment, Parker is unexpectedly transported to a parallel universe where scientific advancements diverge from her own. In this new reality, Parker discovers the existence of the Weavers, a group manipulating interdimensional travel for their gain. Teaming up with counterparts of familiar faces, Parker learns of the Weavers' plan to exploit the multiverse's fragility. Driven by a sense of responsibility, Parker and her allies confront the Weavers, unveiling a hidden threat to the fabric of reality itself. Through daring escapades, they uncover ancient technology and thwart the Weavers' schemes, stabilizing endangered realities along the way. Their victories come with sacrifices as they grapple with the consequences of their actions and the toll of their journey. Yet, they emerge united, their bonds strengthened by adversity and their resolve unyielding in the face of uncertainty. As they embark on new adventures, the echoes of their past resonate across the cosmos, guiding them towards further discoveries and challenges yet to unfold. Now, with Season 2 on the horizon, Dr. Elizabeth Parker and her companions stand poised on the threshold of a new chapter in their epic saga, ready to traverse the echoes once more in pursuit of truth, discovery, and the preservation of countless realities. The ancient starship groaned under the stress of its first hyperspace jump in millennia. Inside, Parker, Mark, and Vance braced themselves against the G-forces as the vessel tore through the intricate fabric of the multiverse. Around them, swirling nebulas of energy painted a breathtaking yet daunting picture of the vastness they were hurtling through. Are you sure this thing can handle it? Mark shouted over the roar of the engines, his knuckles white as he gripped the control panel. Parker, her face illuminated by the holographic map pulsating at the ship's center, nodded grimly. The schematics say it's capable of interdimensional travel, but... Her voice trailed off, leaving the unspoken anxieties hanging in the air. Vance, his injuries finally healed thanks to the advanced medical bay they discovered on board, studied the holographic map with renewed focus. Look, he pointed, the target reality is destabilizing faster than anticipated. We need to reach it before the dimensional fabric tears completely. The urgency weighed heavily on them. Each passing moment could mean the difference between saving an entire reality and witnessing its catastrophic collapse. The starship, though undeniably powerful, creaked and groaned with every jump, protesting its ancient age. Suddenly, a tremor shook the vessel. Alarms blared, red lights flashing ominously. We've got company! Mark yelled, his hand hovering over the weapon console. On the holographic map, a crimson blip, much larger than anything they'd encountered before, materialized alongside them. It was a Weaver's flagship, its design far more advanced than anything they'd seen before. They must have traced our energy signature, Vance muttered, his gaze grim. They won't let us reach the target reality. A fierce battle ensued, the ancient starship's weapons spitting archaic energy blasts against the Weaver's superior firepower. Mark, drawing on his military experience, expertly maneuvered the vessel, dodging devastating volleys while Parker and Vance strategized their counterattack. But the Weaver's flagship was relentless. Their shields were failing, the hull groaning under the relentless pounding. Just as despair threatened to consume them, a beacon of hope flickered on the holographic map. Another starship! Parker exclaimed, pointing to a smaller blip rapidly approaching the battle. It's heading straight for the Weaver's flagship! A moment later, the new arrival emerged from hyperspace, revealing a sleek, futuristic design unlike anything they'd seen before. Its weapons blazed, engaging the Weaver's flagship in a fierce dogfight, drawing the pressure off Parker and her team. Who are they? Mark asked, his voice filled with cautious optimism. Vance leaned closer to the holographic map, his eyes widening. The symbol, it's the architects! Hope surged through them. Could these be the legendary beings who built the multiverse, finally intervening in their struggle? But would their assistance be enough? The battle raged on, the combined forces of Parker's ragtag team and the mysterious architects pushing back the weavers. Yet, the enemy flagship remained formidable, its advanced technology inflicting heavy damage. In the midst of the chaos, Parker noticed a critical opportunity. The weaver's flagship was momentarily distracted, its shields momentarily faltering. With a surge of determination, she directed the ancient starship towards the target reality, praying they could slip through before the window closed. The maneuver was risky, pushing the vessel to its limits. The weavers, realizing their intent, redoubled their efforts to stop them. Alarms blared, the hull screamed in protest, but Parker held firm. 
Finally, with a heart-stopping lurch, the ancient starship slipped through the dimensional tier, leaving the battle behind. They had entered the collapsing reality, a swirling vortex of chaotic energy threatening to rip it apart. The journey through the rift had taken its toll. The ancient starship sputtered, critically damaged. They landed on a barren wasteland, the sky swirling with ominous colors. Around them, the fabric of reality shimmered, threatening to tear at any moment. But they were here. The fate of this dying reality, and perhaps the key to defeating the weavers, lay in their hands. The echoes of their choices whispered promises and dangers, leading them forward into the unknown depths of this desolate world. The desolate landscape stretched before them, a canvas painted in shades of ash and despair. The air crackled with unstable energy, the dying reality's death throws evident in the shimmering tears in the fabric of existence. The ancient starship lay silent, its once proud hull riddled with scars, a testament to the harrowing journey. Hope, however, wasn't a luxury they could afford. The fate of this reality, and potentially the key to stopping the weavers, rested on their shoulders. Parker, shaken but undeterred, rallied her team. We need to find the source of the instability, she declared, her gaze scanning the swirling sky. The closer we get, the more we'll understand how to stabilize it. Mark, ever the pragmatist, interjected, but how do we even move? This ship wouldn't survive another jump, and those architects won't be trailing us forever. Their eyes fell on the wasteland, its desolate expanse offering no obvious answers. Then, Vance, his gaze fixed on a distant flicker of light, spoke. Look over there. Could that be? Following his gaze, they saw a dilapidated structure, half buried in the shifting sands. Its design, though foreign, hinted at advanced technology, a beacon of hope in this desolate world. Could it be a remnant of the civilization that once thrived here, perhaps holding the key to understanding the instability? With renewed purpose, they set off, traversing the treacherous terrain. The air itself seemed to resist them, crackling with unstable energy that threatened to overload their biosuits. Mark led the way, his military training guiding them through treacherous crevasses and shifting dunes. Vance, his knowledge of ancient technologies invaluable, deciphered cryptic symbols etched into the landscape, offering clues about the dying reality's past. Finally, they reached the structure. It was a colossal machine, its purpose long forgotten, its metallic shell riddled with the passage of time. Yet, a faint hum emanated from its core, hinting at dormant power. Parker, drawn to the hum like a moth to a flame, placed her hand on the machine's surface. A wave of information flooded her mind, fragmented memories of a once-thriving civilization, pleas for help echoing across the eons. She gasped, overwhelmed by the sudden influx of knowledge. I... She stammered, I understand how they lost control. This machine was meant to stabilize the reality, but something went wrong. It became the very source of the instability. Their mission was clear, somehow reverse the machine's function, turn it from a harbinger of destruction to a beacon of hope. But amidst the ruins of an ancient civilization, surrounded by a dying reality, achieving this feat seemed nigh impossible. Suddenly, a tremor shook the ground. The weavers had found them. A sleek, futuristic transport ship materialized overhead, disgorging a squad of armored figures. Resistance seemed futile, yet surrender wasn't an option. As the weavers advanced, a flicker of light caught Parker's eye. Within the machine, a hidden energy conduit pulsed with renewed power. A desperate plan formed in her mind, a gamble that could turn the tide or consume them all. With a surge of defiance, she channeled her understanding of the machine, pushing against its corrupted code. Energy crackled around her, the air thick with anticipation. The weavers closed in, their weapons trained on her. Sweat beaded on Parker's forehead as she wrestled with the machine's corrupted code. Her fingers danced across its surface, channeling a torrent of energy and desperate hope. Around her, the weavers advanced, their weapons trained on her like hungry wolves. Yet she couldn't afford to falter. The fate of this reality, and perhaps the key to defeating the weavers, hinged on her success. Suddenly, a surge of power coursed through the machine, responding to her touch. Energy tendrils shot out, wrapping around the weavers, momentarily restraining them. Confusion and shock filled their faces, their advance halted. But the machine's reaction was volatile. It groaned and strained, its ancient systems pushed to their limit. Cracks appeared in its shell, threatening to unleash a wave of destructive energy. Parker gritted her teeth, refusing to give in. She poured everything she had into redirecting the flow, channeling it towards the heart of the instability. A blinding light erupted from the machine, bathing the wasteland in an ethereal glow. The ground trembled, the sky churned, and for a terrifying moment, it seemed like everything would be consumed. Then, just as abruptly as it started, the light subsided. 
silence descended thick and heavy. The weavers lay frozen, their weapons deactivated. But the real test remained, had Parker succeeded? Slowly she opened her eyes. The swirling colors in the sky had receded, replaced by a soft, comforting blue. The tremors had ceased and the air crackled with stable energy. Relief washed over her, so powerful it threatened to bring her to her knees. A cheer erupted from Mark and Vance, who had witnessed the ordeal from a safe distance. The impossible had happened. They had stabilized the dying reality, bought it a chance to heal. But their celebration was short-lived. The weavers stirred, their armor sparking back to life. They hadn't been defeated, merely stunned. With renewed fury, they charged forward, their leader barking orders in a distorted voice. This time, Mark and Vance stood ready. Mark unleashed a hail of bullets from his salvaged weapon, while Vance, using his knowledge of the abandoned machine, manipulated energy tendrils to disrupt the weaver's movement. The ensuing battle was fierce, a desperate struggle for survival in a reality slowly regaining its strength. Parker, exhausted but undeterred, joined the fight, her newfound understanding of the machine allowing her to manipulate its energy blasts with newfound precision. The tide began to turn. The weavers, their advanced technology failing them in this unstable environment, faltered. One by one, they were neutralized, their leader finally succumbing to a combined attack from Mark and Vance. Silence returned, heavier than before. The dust settled, revealing a battlefield littered with deactivated weavers and the remnants of their technology. Exhausted but victorious, Parker, Mark, and Vance stood amidst the ruins, the weight of their deed settling upon them. But their victory was not absolute. The weavers were defeated in this reality, but the threat they posed to the multiverse remained. Parker knew they couldn't stay. They had to return to their own world, warn others of the weavers' plans, and find a way to stop them permanently. Bidding farewell to the now stabilizing reality, they activated their ancient starship, its engines sputtering back to life. As they pierced the dimensional veil, one final question lingered in their minds, who were the architects, and what role did they play in this cosmic struggle? Their journey through the Echoes was far from over. The echoes of their choices resonated louder than ever, urging them forward into the unknown, towards a final confrontation with the weavers and a desperate fight for the very fabric of existence. Emerging from the collapsed reality, the ancient starship groaned in protest, its hull marred by countless battles. Relief washed over Parker, Mark, and Vance, mixed with a gnawing apprehension for the challenges that lay ahead. They had achieved the impossible, stabilizing a dying reality, but the fight wasn't over. The weavers remained, their threat looming over the multiverse. As they charted their course back to their own world, a holographic message materialized on the console, its source unknown. A familiar symbol flickered, the emblem of the architects. A voice, both ancient and ethereal, resonated within the ship. We have observed your actions, travelers. Your courage and determination offer hope for the multiverse. We offer you aid, but it comes at a cost. A holographic map unfolded, depicting a hidden sector within the multiverse, its borders shimmering with unseen forces. Here lies the architect's sanctum, a repository of knowledge and power guarded by ancient trials. Seek the key fragment, a shard of our essence hidden within the collapsed reality you saved. It will grant you access and guide you toward unraveling the weaver's true purpose. A wave of uncertainty washed over them. Trusting unknown beings with such power carried unimaginable risks. Yet their options were limited. The weaver's technology seemed to mimic, and perhaps even corrupt, the architect's own creations. Understanding their origins and vulnerabilities could be the key to defeating them. After a tense discussion, they decided to venture into the uncharted territory. Guided by the cryptic message and their newfound confidence, they navigated the treacherous paths leading to the architect's sanctum. Each jump through the multiverse presented new challenges, forcing them to rely on their combined skills and knowledge. They encountered remnants of ancient civilizations, some long vanished, others corrupted by the weaver's influence. They faced hostile entities guarding dimensional gateways, their battles testing their resolve and pushing their ship to its limits. Through it all, the key fragment, pulsating with faint energy, served as a beacon of hope and a reminder of their mission. Finally, after weeks of perilous travel, they arrived at the Sanctum's gateway. It shimmered with an otherworldly brilliance, emanating a power that resonated deep within the key fragment. Mark, ever the pragmatist, voiced their concerns. What if this is a trap? They could be manipulating us all along. Vance, his gaze fixed on the gateway, spoke with quiet conviction. The alternative is inaction, letting the weavers unravel the multiverse thread by thread. We have to trust or accept inevitable defeat. 
With a deep breath, Parker placed the key fragment within the gateway's energy field. The sanctum hummed, acknowledging their presence. The gateway shimmered, revealing a vast, otherworldly landscape pulsating with ancient energy. Stepping through, they found themselves transported into a realm beyond imagination. Towering structures, constructed from unknown materials, reached into the sky. Holographic displays pulsed with information, whispering secrets of the cosmos. This was the heart of the architect's knowledge, a testament to their vast understanding of the multiverse. But something felt amiss. The sanctum, while magnificent, exuded a sense of isolation, an absence of the benevolent presence they expected. As they ventured deeper, a chilling realization dawned upon them. The sanctum was deserted.